Hey y'all, how y'all doing? All right. My, all right, I'm good. My name is Buck, B-U-C with no K. It stands for beautiful, unique, and cuddly. I have what you call a Netflix and chill body. Cause I can put the stomach right on your back and we can cuddle. Don't judge me. I came here to tell some jokes and people are killing people and cutting their skin open. And the lights are changing colors. I got diabetes. I had to go to the bathroom three times. You know, I know everybody's like, he's a drug addict. No, I got diabetes. I just, you just never know when it's gonna strike you. you know? Guys, you know, I am originally from Brooklyn, New York. Um, Caribbean, Guyanese from Brooklyn, New York. And the pandemic has taught me some interesting things. You know, I come, I have a very small Caribbean family. My dad is a twin of 22. And there was four sets of twins. So I didn't have friends growing up. I had damn cousins. So, <laughs> acres of them, just <laughs> everywhere. You know, I was born with a lisp and, di and dyslexic. So my dad is like, yep, he's gay. <laughs> but the good thing about dyslexia is I couldn't put the words and the letters together. So it took me a long time to come out. I was like, L, Q, Mm. <laughs> now you're catching on. See, that was a smart joke. A smart joke. Bear with me, it goes downhill from here. <laughs> you know, the pandemic taught me a lot. I learned and I got organized during the pandemic. I deleted all my non essential apps on my phone, but I kept one. I kept one dating app. I kept Uber Eats. <laughs> Thank you, that's normally a crowd pleaser. <laughs> I kept Uber Eats because during the pandemic, I needed a reason to take a shower. So if the driver was coming over, I was like, well, I better wash my ass. You know? <laughs> and it's 2021, we're talking about it, we're living it. I, I believe if I order Brazilian, then a Brazilian better deliver it to me. Mm -hmm. If I order tacos, you better send me a little taquito that I can play with. You know? <laughs> and if I order dim sum, well, my dick better get some. You know? <laughs> with ice cream. Oh, it's not that kind of show? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I'll be performing here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> But I told you guys I'm a you know big family, and you know I told you it was large. And I asked my grandma one night. I said, "Grandma, as I'm braiding her hair, this old Caribbean one, boy, you better braid my hair." Okay, grandma, braiding grandma's hair. I was like, "Why'd you have so many kids, grandma?" And my little old grandma at 90, she said, "You know, Bucky boy, I was light skin with big legs, you know." I said, really, Grandma? She said, yes. Caribbean Grandma said, yes. I had good puss. And I'm brave. I'm like, I'm just going to pretend like I didn't hear that, Grandma. You know what I mean? She said, yes. I had good puss. Every time your grandfather looked at me, I got pregnant. I said, really? So what'd you do? I plotted my escape because your grandfather every day from 11 to 12 would be like, woman, it's time for a nap. We thought they were sleeping. We didn't know that was fuck time. <laughs> we didn't know. And we didn't need to know scarred for life. So grandma plotted her escape. And one afternoon after a nap, she grabbed her uterus and her vagina and put it in a bag. <laughs> and she left to the airport to immigrate to America. <laughs> and when she went to tuck it in the overhead projector, overhead projector, the overhead bin, <laughs> <laughs> the flight attendant goes, ma'am, you could not put your uterus and your vagina in the overhead projector. 
<laughs> she said, but why I paid extra? Guys, my name is Brooke. Thank you so much. B-U-C. S underscore comedy, Bucks Comedy on Instagram. It's Buck No K. Thank you guys very much. You've been great. Bring up your host again.